Marijuana, also called weed, herb, pot, grass, buds, ganja, Mary Jane, and a vast number of other slang terms. Marijuana can also be described as a greenish gray mixture of a dry shredded leaf and flower of cannabis sativa. This is a definition of marijuana according to the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Now what does it mean to legalize a drug? Legalization means treating a drug, not necessarily all drugs, more or less the way we treat other commodities such as production, distribution, retail sales, possession, and the use of all or most people, not including children. This is a quote from a book called Marijuana Legalization, What Everyone Needs to Know. And the author of the book is Jonathan P. Collin, who is a Stever Professor of Operation Research and Public Policy at Carnegie Mellon University. Now I'm here to tell you guys three benefits of legalizing marijuana. First is the medical wise. Medical reasoning has been around, of marijuana has been around for quite some time now. Secondly, is a decreasing in, in crime. And third, but not last, is increasing in economy and tax revenue. For the medical uses, mar marijuana used to treat patients in chronic pain, insomnia, stress, anxiety, depression, help with their appetites, with the headaches, nausea, PTSD, and mus muscle spasm. This is a case study in 2014 with the name of Bonnie Miller. The number represent the number of patients that have, have been using marijuana and that's the benefit they gain from it. Now these are just smaller problems, but marijuana has also been proven to help with cancer. According to the National Cancer Institute, the chemical component from cannabis acti activate specific receptor throughout the body to produce pharmacologic effect, particularly in the nervous system and immune system to help fight against cancer cells. For the, with the crime decrease, both violent crime and property crime have decreased it in 2014. Violent crime has dropped 2.2% and the overall property crime has dropped by 8.9%. This study was studied within the first month of 2014 and compared to the first 11 months of 2013. In 2010, 9,000 people were arrested for marijuana possession, but since 2010, 84% of marijuana process, processor arrested has been dropped. In 2014, only 1,464 people were arrested for marijuana possession. As you can see, both the recession, cultivation, and distribution of marijuana has also decreased, shown in this graph. The source of this graph is the Drug Policy Alliance and have been posted by the Huffington Post. For the economic, according to the Drug Policy Alliance, since the first retail marijuana store opened on January 1st, 2014, the state of Colorado has benefited from an increase in tax revenues and economic output and increase in jobs as well. Colorado, as of right now, has the fastest growing economy in the United States. 16,000 people have been licensed to work within the department, within the, mar within the marijuana industry. According to the department, this, this information is according to the Department of Revenue. When, they, when the, the 16,000 people got licensed, there was also a background check on them to, to make sure there have been any serious or crimes with go along with the marijuana. An economist at the University of Denver with the name of Jack Strout has estimated the economic impact provided by just these two dispensaries in Denver. These, with his calculation, these two dispensaries contribute 10 times the tax of the restaurant and 
a retail store together. These two shops has also opened up a vast number of jobs with a and when with the amount of seventeen dollar average per hour for the worker. Just with these two shops, they also put up thirty million thirty million dollars in total economic output. And this study has been has studied between January first and June thirtieth, two thousand and fourteen. As you can see on the graph on the bottom left corner, Colorado recreation marijuana excise tax revenue hit 2.35 million in January, and 12 times the amount reported after recreational marijuana was legalized last year. This has been this the source is Colorado Department of Revenue. Within the tax revenue, also between th January 2014 and October 2014. The tax revenue from the retail marijuana sales amount to six million dollars, not counting the revenues from the medical marijuana and licensing and fee. This data was also provided by the Department of Rev of Car the Department of Revenue of Colorado. The state of Colorado also set aside two point five million to two point five million to increase the number of health profession in Colorado public school. In conclusion, these three benefits have benefited Colorado in many ways, with with medicine, medicine, medical wide, crime crime rate has been decreased, and the economy has been increased. And this is it's only one. I don't only state one state. Imagine if all fifty state were like this: crime rate decreasing, increasing in revenues and economy, and the medicine for the people who needs it.